Hello guys and welcome back to Nitro Gamer 23 and today I'm back with another video on Supercell's new game Rush Wars and this is a basic overview a review of Rush Wars which I think just released about a week or two weeks ago a relatively new game from Supercell and uh, I've been playing it for some time for uh, five to ten minutes and I just understood the motive of the game now in the game the main thing is we it's just like a combo of Clash of Clans and Clash Royale sort of thing. So, uh, just a minute, okay. Just like a combo of Clash of Clans and Clash Royale. And here, the main things are the HQ, the chopper, and the lab. And uh, I'll just go into one here and you see the HQ is the heart of your camp. You can find new cards when you level up, and you can get a free box. So you from a free box, you can get defenses. This is just like the arenas in Clash of Clash Royale. Where for every new arena you can unlock new cards sort of thing and this is like a town hall in Clash of Clans and an arena in Clash Royale combined and this is a chopper which is the um, army camp sort of thing like in Clash of Clans and compared to Clash of Clans here you can take your troops, your airdrops and defenses, airdrops are things like the rockets in um, Clash Royale so and the troops and the next one is the lab where you can upgrade cards like the laboratory in Clash of Clans which which combined with mm, the card upgrading system in Clash Royale so next the, the next thing we have over here is and before I get in that chopper yeah the next thing is we have teams here just like clans in Clash of Clans and Clash Royale so and we have a trophy system here and we have a uh, trophy system kind of thing but it's based on the stars 200 for bronze, 600 for silver, 1200 for gold, 1800 for a specialist like champ, like crystal 2400 for ninja, 3000 for a destroyer, 4000 for a champion, 5200 for a legend, 6500 for a supreme, 8000 for a superstar and 10000 for a lead so this here you can earn stars just like in clash royale by taking down gold mines which I'll show you in a bit and we have your battle log and attack log to the right to the corner, right corner and the leaderboard and the store and here we have daily deals just like in Clash Royale where you can have a bronze pack, a silver pack and a gold pack the bronze pack you you can get to, you'll get 38 cards the silver pack you'll get 138 cards and the gold pack you get 288 cards and you can buy all of these with gems and here you have the cards you can get and you can get gold or diamonds and you can buy gems for money next the next part of this game here is uh, the gold mine which is just like our war base in clash of clans so this is the base which most of the people will attack and you have some troops over here defending your village your base your gold mine sort of thing and each star this is the gold mine the big one is the gold mine and the other two are sort of like uh, princess towers in clash of clans but clash royale but they don't do anything so all three of these don't do anything but these if you take down each one of those down you get three stars just uh, like you get three crowns in clash royale so a lot of similarities in both of these games you can place your defense your people your troops there with some defenses which will protect your village and the right the box of the right is where you can place yours left it's that so there and here let's we, you can train your troops to attack you have your troops over here and uh, here in this you can um, I you can excuse me you can turn in some troops just like you take troops in Clash of Clans and you can take an airdrop and the next one is commanders which are like heroes in Clash of Clans and after we can go for attacks we can search for attacks just like in Clash of Clans and here this is the main thing you can get gold by taking down each one of these gold mines and you can you'll get a star as well and to the left the rectangle to the left is where you're gonna place your troops those troops will go and attack these guys to the right and the good thing here is 
you can arrange them in sort of formation kind of thing so this is the formation which i went for the shield guys in the front and the other attackers in the back so and our airdrop is going over there towards the mortar so which will take down a few may take down a few tubes and this is just like a basic war kind of a straight on war kind of thing and we, put, we are taking down the first gold mine we got 8 gold taking down the mortar done and we are going on the second gold mine it is like the king tower but we need to take out the third one this is not like in Clash Royale where you just take out the king tower the other two towers will just go down so a 3 star which will add 3 more stars to our troops or star crown which is just like the trophies in class of the clan and you get new troops after winning each attack and you have keys which you use to up, which you use to open chests so and with these new cards you can upgrade them just like in Clash Royale so we have an upgrade already I think it's a plumber home which is gonna be upgraded to level 2 and for each upgrade you get um, XP and uh, the number of plumbers it may it will increase sort of thing and sort of just like that it's a thing like that so and here for each HQ level you can unlock new cards new defenses and new manders which are like heroes and the main design the, the aesthetics of the game remind me of jungle heat if you guys haven't played it, you definitely have to go and check it out. It's a really nice game and I made a video about it down below. And a special shout out to Tornado Buster. He's the one who told me who brought this game to my notice. And I'll have his link down below. And the team domination is like war, clan war sort of thing. And you can have you have commanders just as I told you before. And you can upgrade your chopper at... Uh, your HQ and that, your lab, and that telephone booth is something that tells you about some hints maybe. And he's telling us not to believe the dinosaur which just came in the starting, which you, which I also have included in the thumbnail. And the grey boxes to below the path are where our three boxes and our boxes go. Like the box opening stations where you have, like box opening things where you have, like you have four in Clash Royale, you have two over here. I don't know if we can get any more, but yeah, these are the main similarity sort of things for between Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, Clash and Clash Royale, and Rush Wars. It's like a fusion of both of these, both of those games. It's a really nice game, you guys should check it out, it has really fun gameplay and one thing I can tell you is it's really really better than Brawl Stars. And uh, see, you have a few chickens which adds in the effect of heyday and a thing that where you cross an ocean or a sea to go and attack it brings back memories of Boom Beach. So, Clash of Clans has done well in incorporating every game from its uh, every game all that it made, including Brawl Stars, I think so. So because Brawl Stars, we have guns attacking other players, red versus blue teams, things and team sort of thing. So that's the same aesthetic which they went for in this game. That's a really good thing done by Supercell, in which they combined all the games so this is a review of me and if you want more videos comment down below and i'll see you guys in the next video bye